You know, my slogan with power walls and with solar is that it does not cost, it pays. I only saw electric rates going up. And if I could lock in the production of energy via my roof, then I'm kind of immune to rises in electric prices, which is fantastic. The amount of rebates and incentives you're able to access to make this not only affordable, but make a ton of sense. If I'm going to pay my electric bill versus what I'm going to pay for solar and backup power, and it's less than what I'm paying now, why wouldn't I do it? Some people get concerned that, you know, Northeast cold is an issue with the Powerwall 3. Temperature's not a problem. It has self-diagnostics and a heat system that takes care of all that. So I don't have to think about it. In the fall, we get a lot of cloudy days, but you still get solar. You get more solar than what you're using. On average, I generated 21 kilowatt hours more than I used, meaning I sent that back to the grid on a daily basis over the course of the last month for a total of 645 kilowatt hours in excess energy production. So over the course of the summer and part of the fall, we'll be sending power back to the grid, getting money, and then in the winter, that will offset our electricity costs. To be able to weather a storm or to operate off the grid, you can't do that without a backup power source like a power wall. If there's a storm approaching, I'll get a notification saying, you know, we detect a storm in your area, we're charging, so you're ready. We really live our lives without thinking about it. And yes, we do look out and see a storm on the horizon and go, hmm, yeah, we're in good shape. <laughs> I no longer have to worry about the cost of electricity. I don't have to worry about finding backup power during an outage. I don't have to worry about the cold winter days or the hot summer nights. It just works and I don't have to think about it. If you're concerned about the cost going solar versus what you're doing now, it's definitely a no-brainer.